What happened to no questions asked? That was in relation to the Mao investigation. However, we would now like to discuss any information you may have concerning Jeff. Who? Jeff Culver. Never heard of him. Really? <laughs> really. Well, that seems interesting. Considering the only way you would have known Miss Mauer was murdered was to know Carver was involved. It could have been a hunch. Yes, well the information you gave led to Jeff and Aaron, both of whom committed suicide. Bummer. I guess raping and murdering a teenage girl would probably justify killing yourself. Don't you think? It's not what I think that matters. This case would be open and shut if it wasn't for the fact that both men were also found castrated. Oh, you're kidding. They couldn't get enough of messing with Donna. They had to up the ante and do some weird double castration suicide pact for kicks. What is the world coming to? You don't seem upset by this. Upset? I'm sorry, shouldn't you be more upset that two pedophile rapists killed an innocent girl? We're not here to discuss Mauer. We're here to discuss Jeff Culver and Aaron Smith. Why? Excuse me? Why? What does it matter? Don is gone, and now so are killers. We should be organizing a memorial, I mean a block party, I don't know, bring Barbara Walters, share the good news. So you think they deserved it then? Did I say that? Well, you're not exactly containing your joy. Did I mention that the autopsy revealed that both castrations were performed by one person? That Jeff must have had one steady hand. <laughs> Maybe it was a specialty he picked up in Scouts one summer. I can't even imagine what you mean by that. Well, Donna was in the Girl Scouts, right? If only Donna was taught how to wield a knife. I'm sure she'd be here today. You make it sound like it's a good idea. Not just castration, but the idea that all girls should learn how to perform one. Well, that's your interpretation. Would you say you would be interested in knowing how to perform one? I don't know, but whoever did it would have my vote. Forget Hillary, let's put that girl in charge. Girl? Oh, oh, you know, look, girl, boy, hermaphrodite, transsexual. Whoever did it was a hero. We live in America. We are innocent until proven guilty, and these men had a right to a trial in front of a jury. The system would have taken care of their kind. <laughs> Is our federal system funny to you? Do you think it would be the world's superpower if we didn't have the best de democratic system in the world? What do you have against freedom? <laughs> oh, oh, I see. You actually think you're capable of bringing justice to pervs like that? We have very clear punishments for those who... <laughs> like what? You put them in jail, give them some therapy, drugs, notify people when they move into a new house. How bad is that really? Didn't Roman Polanski just win an Oscar? Were you or were you not born in the year 1991? <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. That would make you the same age as Thong Girl 14. Yeah, it would also make me the same high risk age that every pedophile targets, especially over the internet. In fact, shouldn't you have caught on to that before he had the chance to rape and kill Donna and meet up with Thongo? I mean, he was a fashion photographer. It takes a genius to get paid for what he'd be happy to do for free. Hmm. Who said anything about them meeting up? Do you have kids? We're not here to talk about me. We're here to talk about you. Answer the question. Do you have kids? Yes. How many? One son, one daughter. How old's your daughter? <sighs> Eleven. Do you read her bedtime stories? What? Do you read her bedtime stories? Um, yeah, sometimes. Have you ever told her the story of Little Red Riding Hood? Maybe. I don't know. Well, you know how in Little Red Riding Hood there's a wolf, a woodsman and a girl? 
Yeah? Imagine one day you get a phone call. Your wife is yelling hysterically on the other end. Your daughter didn't make the walk home from school. She's been walking that route for the past two years and nothing like this has ever happened. What's your first thought? It's been days now. You've had no contact from any sources and no one knows where she might be. You've been taken off the case as a conflict of interest and desired to do your own digging. You've copied down a couple of leads from the office when no one was looking and decide to check it out. You don't just find her, you also find the guy that's taken her. Only it takes a few moments to realise what's happened. You're too busy holding on to your daughter, tears streaming down your face as you feel her matted hair against your face. The grime upon her skin, the clothes and tatters. So numb she can't even recognize you. Eventually, you take note of your surroundings. The flickering light of a monitor. Some dirty sheets. A pungent smell. And then him. Lying dead in the corner of the room. It's then that you notice the dried blood splattered across your daughter's hands and face. Here's the wolf, she's the girl, and you. Are you the woodsman?